I got to be honest, I had no idea. And when I woke up today, it was National Catcher's Day. Did you know it's national? Is this a thing? Hallmark, you've gone too far. National Catcher's Day, I guess February 2nd wasn't full enough with, you know, the groundhog thing. I, I don't know what you're doing here, but whatever National Catcher's Day means, my top five catchers of all time. Texas Rangers version. Now, these aren't my greatest Texas Rangers catchers. You can look down the war list and figure that out for yourself. That's not hard. So my favorite Texas Rangers catchers, top five for Catcher's Day right now. All right, normally I would do five, four, three, two, one. Mostly so you'd stay till the end of the video because, you know, I'd like you to stay till the end of the video. But everybody knows who the number one catcher is for everybody. Not only is he the greatest catcher in Rangers history, he's the greatest Rangers ball player in Rangers history, Irod. Irod by far takes the cake here. 10 All-Star appearances, 10 Golden Gloves, Hall of Famer, 99, AL MVP is obviously Ivan the Great. He was at Dan Thess the other day. I did not stand in that line, but I did see him go by. Pretty cool that he's still around. Irod, my favorite Rangers catcher of all time. Kind of easy, right? Number two. Number two is pretty easy if you're old like me. Jim Sundberg was the Rangers. Him and Toby Hara were the first Rangers I knew. I'm 53. I grew up in Southern California. So I didn't grow up a Rangers fan. I always had a place in my heart for them. Is that weird to say? I've always liked the old school unis. I always liked Toby Hara and Jim Sundberg. I don't really know why, but I always have. He was great. He's a top 10 Ranger in war. He's a great catcher. I'm pretty sure he's in the Texas Rangers Hall of Fame. If he's not, he should be. Number two on my favorite Texas Rangers catchers list of all time, Jim Sundberg. Also, one of my favorite Texas Rangers bobbleheads. I actually own two because I, the mask, I, it, I broke one. So anyway, number three. Number three is Mike Napoli. Now, I guess you could put an asterisk on this one, right? He didn't catch all that much, but he was a catcher. I actually was a Napoli fan from back living in Southern California. I only went to a couple Angels games, and he hit a bomb every time I was there. Went to more Dodgers games. I lived in San Diego. Went to more Dodger games than Angels games, but for whatever reason, Nap hit a bomb every time I was there. So I was kind of rooting for him. He comes to Texas when I move out here to Texas. One of the great World Series of all time. He would have been the MVP except for David Freeze and Nelly Cruz. That's a whole nother video. This guy had 10 RBIs in the 2011 World Series. Clearly, I think it was one of only six people to ever do that. For that alone, he's my number three catcher on the Texas Rangers all-time my favorite catchers list. Yeah. Number four. Number four is Robinson Chirinos. And you know why? If you do, let me know. I'm not really sure, but I just felt like he should be on the list. I've got a whole bunch of people that I like that aren't on the list, which I'll mention here at the very, very end, because you need to say all the way to the very, very end. And really, I'm not really sure why he's four and not number five, but it just felt like it. He, he played a lot. Robinson Chirinos. I, you, you let me know in the comments why, because I, I can't give you a good reason. I just, I liked him. Number five. Number five is Johnny Oates. He is in the Texas Rangers Hall of Fame because he was a manager. You could put Bochy here, right? He never caught for the Rangers, but he was a catcher and he's a Ranger. But Johnny Oates was my grandma's favorite player. And my grandma's not with us anymore. She was a Dodgers fan. She loved the 77 Dodgers, Garvey, Say, Lopes, Russell, Reggie Smith, Dusty Baker, Steve Yeager, Tommy John, all those guys. And she's why I was a baseball fan, a Dodgers fan when I was a kid. And she loved, therefore we loved Johnny Oates. He was a Dodger for just a little bit. He was a Philly for a while. Came over and did a great job as the Rangers manager. For me, he's my number five catcher on the list. There you go. Number one, Irod. Number two, Jim Sundberg. Number three, Nat. Number four, Chirinos. Number five, Johnny Oates. Now, the people who also made it, or nope, didn't also made it, almost made it, are the following. Benji Molina, Jonathan Lucroy, A.J. Pierzeninski. I almost put Bobby Wilson on there. Bobby Wilson is a current coach for the team. Only caught for a little bit for us. Seemingly a great guy. I don't know him. I've never met him. But I've seen people. He seems to be a really nice guy. Let's just leave it there. Um, Mickey Tendleton was great. Brian Downing was great for the Angels. As I mentioned, I went to games in Southern California. He was only with the Rangers for a little bit. Only he had two really good years for the Rangers. That's my list. Those are my top five and more. Let me know. Who'd I miss? Who's too high? Who's too low? Do you have anybody on number one that's not Irod? Of course you don't. That would be silly. Did you know it was National Catcher's Day? 
Are you still here watching this video? If you are, you're my kind of people. Thank you so much. Come back tomorrow because there's going to be more. Not of this, but of stuff like it. Go Rangers. See you next time. <laughs>